well, well, I'd say if, if you met me in the 1600s, I would have been a witch finder general. The 1800s, I was the owner of a brothel, quite a good one. In the 1920s, I was a communist. The 60s, I, I was a leader of a cult. Um, the 80s, I, I don't quite remember. I mean, I've been part of almost every fad and movement in history, but they never last. You've probably got a good run of about 10 years before they get too mainstream. I spent a lot of my youth living without consequence, doing whatever I wanted to do, which, which was fun at the time. Sometimes I do think to myself, oh, you used to live so uncensored, you're such a crazy guy. Why can't you be like that anymore? Then there's the other side to it, you know, like the day after the worst come down in history and the, the two years spent in a K-hole, the amount of toilet bleach that it takes to get the blood out of the bed sheets, some really fucked up shit and I don't want that anymore. Uh, nowadays I run my own conspiracy theory blog and I manage a few uh, social networking sites. In my spare time I've also started to paint, I um, got, got into this thing called outsider art which I'm really getting into and it's something I can see myself doing really really well in. I've had to put it to one side at the moment but I mean, small steps or whatever. Perhaps maybe in like about five years time I can turn around and say Hello, I'm Satan and I am an artist.